Back to Bob's Badass AM Transmitter Project. Alright, it is 2.51 on Sunday afternoon here in beautiful downtown Seymour, Indiana. I have the um, transmitter. Bob's designed transmitter in front of me. Here's the antenna. This is where we started at the last time. And if we look over here, we can see a nice pile of components <laughs> that I have removed. I did not like the way that turned out. I, I just didn't like the way it was laid out or anything else. So I have completely removed it. Removed them. Here's the back side of the board. Uh, there's some usable stuff there. I mean, I'm going to still build it on this board. I'm going to clean the board up a little bit better. But like I said, that's... Uh, the remnants of that and I think what I'm going to do is go out this way a little bit more I use my pointy stick out this way and then build it this way instead of trying to build from here back and it was really compact and I was trying to do too many things at once and and stuff like that so uh, also I'm going to take and run a, a line around here uh, maybe not all around the whole board but a lot of the board with the uh, negative bus on this side and maybe even do the same thing with the positive bus on this side so that I'll have access to those because there are some obviously some places where they need to be accessed so especially the negative bus so that's the plan I'll probably just like I said take it around through here and uh, I can make it you know to here for now and do the same thing with the uh, positive uh, wherever it oh it's over here and I think uh, well those I might I might have to do a little more creative well no see here's the positive right here that's the positive so I can I can take that around here like this and do the same thing but that's what my plan is I'm gonna do that first and that way I'll have all that outlined and I know where I can go with my components and where I can't go so like I said this is our starting point again the uh, the old old uh, antenna. <laughs> so I ought to, what I ought to do is make sure that's working. I think maybe I will do that because I've got my radio sitting right there. As I recall, this was around one one megahertz, gigahertz, one megahertz. So let me do that, and we'll come right back. All right, you can hear it does work. And uh, so that's good. So we don't have to worry about that part of it. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and start building the uh, um, amplifier, RF amp, whatever you want to call it. And we'll get that going. And uh, like I said, it'll be better, I think, once we get it uh, spread out a little bit more and do exactly like I wanted to do. Uh, that's the plan. So join us for that. Uh, good evening, YouTube. Back here with you once again on a uh, Sunday evening. Uh, I'm not really sure why I'm such a <laughs> workaholic type mood, but I am. It is 8.43 now in the evening. Uh, as I, I mentioned before, I'm going to, or I did, uh, take and extend my negative bus. Over here you can see the negative sign right there. It goes down to about here. Uh, positive bus, which is here, goes to here, goes down to here, is on this side. Uh, no special reason, just wanted uh, a convenient place to get to power and, and ground if I needed. I still haven't actually cleaned this off, I'm going to next, but I wanted to go ahead and put those buses on while I had uh, found some wires to do that. Also, <laughs> um, two of these, these caps that you see here, are the wrong value. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I can figure is they were in the wrong compartment of my uh, capacitor assortment that I got from China. And so it looks like I'm going to have to start checking uh, my uh, values when I put them in. Now these have been checked. Also, I've, I've, I've talked to Bob. <laughs> I told him, I said, Bob, I said, this is not a criticism. But why? Do you have this one labeled 100 nanofarad and this one labeled 0.1 microfarad? Um, anybody that does the conversion is going to know those are the same values. Um, and it, to me, the, the whole 
nanofarad thing just throws a, a lot of confusion into the uh, process. I think Bill, Bill, you kind of feel this way too. Uh, you know, we we were kind of cut our teeth on uh, microfarad and picofarad, and that's about it. Nanofarad, something new. I'm gonna guess since the computer generation took took over. And uh, like I said, I understand the basic conversion. You know, I've got a little chart here that I wrote out because uh, I, I, I read that one. Let's see if I can get it in here. As 9409 picofarad, and that's 10 nanofarad. So, <laughs> you know, that's uh, kind of, you know, just so for my own thing. So, I, I, you know, I can understand if I have to do the math, I can do it. But I have my phone, so I don't have to do it. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, so that is that, and uh, I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm going to clean up that board next, and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll go back to, I think I'm, what I'm going to do, uh, this is not a totally uh, done deal, but this is our antenna again here, and I'm going to run it out to this, this not right here, because that's our, obviously the bus there. So I'm going to run it out to here somewhere in this, this block here. I'm trying to stay with these blocks here, at the middle. And you know my, uh, and I probably put them in close to close to this side of the block. So I just want to kind of get it, you know. In other words, it could go around this way and come around this way. Is the way I'm, I'm thinking to do it. That's why I did it to begin with. But I had everything all grouped up so tight, you couldn't get in or work on anything, couldn't do anything. So uh, I want to try to do it a little bit different this time. And uh, I'm glad I did because I had those wrong values in there. So that makes a difference. So, I mean, you know, not a, not a big difference probably, but it makes a difference. So, that's the plan. So, let me get back to working on this thing some more and uh, come back and see you again later on. Uh, good evening again, YouTube. Back with you one more time. Uh, it is 10.19 now in the evening. I, uh, getting ready to call it quits for the evening. I do have this uh, assembled fully now. Uh, see if I can follow this around uh, out of the gate here. Uh, this is the original. This part down here below, these, these two resistors here is all the original stuff. Now, this time, instead of taking it uh, over the top, I made it on the bottom. If you can see right here, it goes over to the beginning of the um, circuit there. I'm going to turn around this way to help point it out a little bit better because it's going the right way that way. Let me get this up here like this so you can see the schematic and the the board at the same time, hopefully. Let's see. Alright, now, like I say, this C5 is 100 nanofarad, and I think I already mentioned it's 0.1, same thing. Uh, that's this this one right here. It goes right into a VR, which is here, and from the VR side it goes to here. We have a, a 2K on top, and you can see that's it right there. And a, a five, 510 on the bottom, and that's it right there. So, and they, they both connect to the uh, base of the Q2, and that's that. Now on this side, on the, uh, this is the emitter side, it goes EBC, because I know it's different from this one because we're going the other way, but uh, EBC, so this is the emitter. The emitter connects to uh, this uh, capacitor here, which is the 100 nanofarad or 0.1 microfarad, right there. It also connects to this. See now that. Okay, that's the top. Never mind. Uh, I'm on the wrong side here. Or did I? Maybe I messed up here. Oh no, that's C8. I'm sorry. That's C8, the 022 uh, microfarad. And this is the 22 alongside of it. That's these two right here. So those are right. And those both go to ground. That's this ground coming around here. I've got ground coming around all the way around here now. And like I said, that's that. Now uh, on the uh, top side, again, that was uh, the 2K. And uh, we've seen that up here. And the one millihenry uh, is right there. Now both of those go to the same place. They go up here to power which uh, these do, and also this one, well, I'm going to say both of them, this one and this one go to power, 12, or 12 volts, 9 volts, whatever it is. Okay, and coming off of the uh, center of the, uh, the 
not the center, but the same place as this is this uh, point 0.1 C9 here, 100 nanofarad, right there. And that goes over to this junction here, which uh, there's a 220 microhenry uh, and a 470 picofarad in the in, uh, same spot there. So they all join right there. Now the uh, 470 C10 goes over to ground, which I've got that running past this because there's a spot there, but I've got it running past, they don't touch. And that's the ground. Also, the ground goes all the way over to the uh, antenna, which is next. Now, this uh, other end of the uh, 220 microhenry um, inductor goes directly to this. Uh, now, he's got 965. This is the one we changed. This is a 990 now, uh, picofarad. And that goes over to the antenna. So, that's pretty much all there is to that. So, well, I do see something I've got wrong here. I think I've got... I've got the, uh, no, that's right. No, it isn't right. Okay, I've got to get this changed. This is wrong because this is supposed to go between the uh, choke and ground, and then the, the antenna connects to it. So I've got to get this all switched around. But that's the only problem I've, I can see right now with it. So all, also on the other side, this is uh, the power side. These are them two, uh, uh, these two right here where they connect at, right up here. So those are the power. Everything else is right underneath. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad I went through and checked this because I, well, that was going to work right. <laughs> but uh, we will get that right. I think what I need to do is just basically put the, uh, the trimmer in between here and run the, uh, what do you call it, over to this side. And that will, that will put everything in perspective, I do believe. So that's what I'm going to have to change around. But I think I'm done for the night. If I, if I don't forget to change that around, I'll put a circle around that or something on the schematic so I'll remember to change it. But that updates you for what I've got done there. And uh, I think I'm hoping it works really good this time because it's going to have the correct values in it this time. Uh, all right. I am back again, uh, YouTube. It is 11, 12 now in the evening on this Sunday evening. I have... <laughs> I had a little problem. I went ahead to correct the uh, situation with the uh, transmitter. I want to get this done before I left. And uh, I was in process of moving this um, inductor over a little bit. And this happened. So you can see it just kind of broke in half. Uh, but anyway, I did get that. That uh, capacitor now goes across from the antenna to the ground which is what it shows right here. Uh, this comes from the uh, inductor that I broke, but I replaced. And this is not here, just the 9 to 90 here. And it, like I said, connects across the, uh, the antenna line and the uh, ground line, which is what I have there. That's uh, ground and that's the antenna. And it connects across there. So, and then it connects back here on the antenna side. And that's exactly how the, it's supposed to do. So that is all set up now. That is completely done. Um, now, whether it works or not, <laughs> that I don't know. And I won't find out probably until I get back because I don't think I'm going to mess with it anymore tonight. Like I said, it's already almost quarter after 11. And I still have some things I need to do. So, like I said, that's uh, a look at it. I just wanted to share that with you. That uh, Of course, this, <laughs> this won't even be even thought about being posted until way after I get back so but anyway I did get it done and I thought it turned out rather well compared to the first time I did this it's, it's nice and spread out now like I said there's a, a line that runs from the old or uh, the uh, oscillator yeah the oscillator over to the amplifier right here and goes through that uh, capacitor there through the, the ver uh, variable resistor and the rest of the circuitry goes out this way until we get to the antenna and ground on here. So that's what we'll do. Now, I had thought about, and I may do this, is run a line over to the earth ground just for the heck of it. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. It may not help anything either, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. So I thought that would be a good thing to do. So maybe, like I say, when I get back, we'll give this a try. It'll give me something to do when I get back. <laughs> Not that I probably need that, but uh, all right. Like I say, we'll, we'll close this out there. So 
you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you.